Hi there. This is Mehak from Drawing Room. Today we are going to learn about the topic design in elementary and intermediate grade examination. This topic is used by the examiners to test your creativity skills, balance and proportion. How well you can construct a few given elements and color it. So, where exactly do you see this design in our day-to-day -day lives? Well, you see these on your t-shirts, on roads, billboards, curtains, bed sheets, your books, everywhere you see there is some design. So it has a an extremely extremely important practical application too. And it's also been fun to draw and color this design. I know some of you might not enjoy the process of making it, but that's because you don't know how to really attempt it properly or step by step. So I'm here to solve all your queries and teach you how to draw a 2D design. The best part is you know what, you can use a geometrical instrument. Also keep in mind about balance, proportion and the beautification of your design. Let's learn in detail how to go about it. Grab onto your papers and pencil and draw with me. I have divided the video into three parts, drawing, coloring and adding the textures part. So. You can jump onto these timestamps as per your desire. Alternatively, you can watch the whole video to learn the complete process of drawing and coloring a 2D design. The first rule of drawing is that before starting to draw, we always have to draw a 1 to 1.5 cm border on all the four sides of the paper. This is our golden rule. To draw a straight line freehand, you have to arrange your paper along the border of your board. And then hold the pencil like this, mark a point of about 1 to 1.5 cm distance from the edge. And by taking the support of the drawing board, slowly move your hand downwards. This will create a smooth straight line. Rotate your paper and in the similar way make other border lines. Remember, you need to keep the same amount of distance from the edges. So do not move your fingers from the pencil. Now, let's read a question paper. What does the question say? Draw a hexagon with each side measuring 8 cm. Create a beautiful design using your imagination with the help of the following elements. 3 unequal circles, 2 unequal squares, 1 equilateral triangle, decorative shapes of 2 flowers or leaves, 2 curved lines if necessary. Color the design using suitable color scheme and below your design mention for what purpose it can be used. Write in pencil. Note these elements down somewhere on the corner of your paper so that you don't have to revisit your question paper again and again. First, we need to draw the outer shape that is hexagon. To draw a hexagon, first we will measure 8 cm radius on compass. To do that, we make an 8 cm straight line on the back side of the page and adjust the compass. Check it on the scale and draw a circle on the front side. With the same radius and center as any point on the circumference, mark an arc on the circumference of the circle. Take the point where this arc and the circumference of the circle intersect as the center and mark another arc on the circumference. Similarly, we mark 6 such arcs 
on the circumference of the circle because a hexagon contains six sides. These are our six points which we have to join to make the hexagon. Join all the six points in this manner. Now we will erase the construction lines. We don't need them in this topic. Our outer shape is ready and now we need to draw in the elements given. We won't start drawing directly into this outer shape but make some drafts on the back side of the page, roughly freehand drafts. This should take about 5 to 7 minutes only. We will make 2 to 3 drafts. While drawing the drafts, we have to keep in mind the given elements in the question. After drawing these freehand outer shapes, we will make each of the elements one by one. One equilateral triangle, circles, squares, leaves. I can also see some large parts here. So let's divide them into smaller ones by making a curved line. Our first draft is ready. Let's try out some different pattern in this one. Out of these drafts, we will pick that which is beautiful, balanced and proportionate. The question also says decorative forms of two flowers or leaves. We cannot draw one flower and one leaf. We have to draw two flowers or two leaves. This seems to be the most appropriate. So let's draw this on the fair page. You can see some decorative forms in your elementary book under design topic. Or you can also make some of your own. After choosing the draft, we will make those elements in its place. But remember, you don't have to make tiny ones. Make bigger shapes so that it is easier for us to color. It's an equilateral triangle, so all the sides will be equal. You can also use a protractor to measure its angle, which is 60 degree. The circles need not have any specific radius. Remember, it's a square, not a rectangle. So we will make equal sides. You can also use a protractor in this to get 90 degree angle. We keep referring to our draft to make our drawing. Thus, we will make all the shapes using our geometrical instruments. This area has large parts. So, according to our draft, we will make one curved line here and one curved line here. Now this design looks properly balanced and proportionate. After placing all the elements in its place, we will refine our sketch. Your drawing should take about 30 minutes to complete. This leaf, triangle and the circle were overlapping in, in such a way that it created 
very tiny and small parts it would be very difficult for us to paint them so and refine it also remember while drawing you have to draw very light handed dark drawing will leave marks on your paper and make your paper dirty since accuracy and neatness is one of the points on which your design will be judged you have to make all the efforts to keep your paper neat and tidy the leaf triangle and circle all three intersect in one point all these elements are to be drawn inside this outer shape by overlapping each other this will create new shapes and we will color all these newly formed shapes with different colors we don't color this whole leaf as green but different parts of it would be colored with different colors there are some common mistakes which we have to avoid such as while drawing an element inside the outer shape it should be drawn independently for example we are making a square so we have to make it independently that is we will not make any of its side along with the side of the hexagon but draw it separately i have also touched the corner of this square to break the hexagon into smaller parts for coloring we will need brushes these are three round and one flat brush a rough cloth colors these are camel student poster colors two bowls of water one for color mixing and one for washing the brushes and a color palette before starting to color we always have to choose a color scheme you can refer to this video link on the top right hand corner in which i have explained about different color schemes in detail alternatively you can refer to your elementary book in which all the color schemes are given primary secondary tertiary complementary analogous monochromatic tints and shades warm color scheme and cool color scheme we have chosen analogous color scheme with red orange and violet colors i have taken out little amounts of red orange yellow and the blues on the palette we can also use black and white to make tint or shade of any of the colors these are poster colors so they require very less amount of water to be mixed for fluidity if we mix too much water the color might become dull we mix yellow with orange to make light orange and color this part to make dark orange we can mix a little red in it thus by using different colors we will paint each part separately dark red is achieved by mixing a tinge of persian blue to it dark violet is made by mixing red and cobalt blue now we are adding white to this newly formed color to make a lighter shade
The one point to be noted is that no single color should come adjacent to each other. That is, two shapes side by side should not have the same color. Two opposite shapes or the shapes which are farther away from each other can have the same color but not the two adjacent sides. Otherwise, it would look like one single shape joined which is against the rule as we have to show all these newly formed shapes separately colored. There are also many ready-made colors available in the market. This is a ready-made violet color which is mixed with violet shade made by us to make it a little brighter. I am fast forwarding the video till I finish the base coloring of all the shapes. The time taken to color this design should be approximately 40 to 70 minutes depending on your method shading or plain coloring. Shading would require more time and plain coloring would require lesser time. To make this violet even more darker and brighter, I have added a little red and cobalt blue to it. To make any part painted with a darker color, light in color, simply color that part with the lighter color. Remember, this time there should be more color and very less water in the brush. Otherwise, it won't become light. It will remain dark in color. Now that the coloring is done, let's give it some outline. Instead of giving it the plain black outline, let's use white poster color to give dotted lines as the border. This makes it look more attractive than a simple border line and will also refine your shapes if messed up while coloring. Now, depending on the time left with you, you need to decide upon the textures or you can go with the texture you have always practiced and you are good at. Also leave 10 minutes at the end for the drawing to dry. Textures are the most important part of a design. 
it helps to make our design even more beautiful. We will use cross hatching with pencil in this one. Cross hatching is a simple technique of making checks like pattern using strokes. If you aren't comfortable doing it freehand, you can also use a scale to make it. This is dark purple and black color pencils on light violet parts. Since this texture is only with a color pencil, it won't take more than 15 minutes to complete this. Some complicated textures like mosaic might even take you half an hour to 40 minutes. brown and red color pencils on orange and red color parts and white color pencil on all the darker parts. Our drawing, colouring and textures are done. Now to answer the last part of the question, let's make a very light horizontal line for writing about its practical application. So this design can be used on a wall or a bed sheet. So we write. This design can be used as a geometrical wall or bedsheet design. We will erase this guideline as it is not needed. This completes our design paper. I hope you have understood and enjoyed the design process. Now, I would like to know what do you guys think this design can be used for? Tell me your views and suggestions in the comment section below. Also, if you liked my tutorial, kindly share, hit the like button and please do not forget to subscribe and Tap the bell icon to receive notifications about my latest uploads. Meet you in the next tutorial with something new. Till then keep creating, practicing and painting. Thank you.